Okay guys, I uh, hope everyone is uh, doing well today. Uh, what I'm going to talk about right now is just a few modifications that um, I did on the 3DR Solo uh, that I purchased from uh, a buddy of mine who upgraded his. I know uh, it's 2019 and this, uh, this quadcopter is a few years old, but nonetheless, uh, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, got a great deal on it, and uh, as soon as I got it, I got it with three uh, extra batteries, a bunch of uh, props, and a cool backpack, man, that I actually recommend uh, anyone uh, that uh, has this copter to, um, to go for it, man. I mean, uh, I think they're running $35 uh, a piece. Uh, some of the modifications I'd like to talk about uh, right off the bat is this simple little, you know, two, three dollar lanyard, man. Um, you know, you just slap that little little bad boy um, on here. Try to do it one-handed here, right? And uh, just uh, works great. Uh, number two, and I'll keep this uh, video real short, is this um, precision control knob. Uh, for as little as $5 on eBay, uh, you can slap these bad boys on there, make it uh, really precise to control uh, your, uh, your drone, um, definitely recommend those. Um, one uh, other thing that um, I really liked is, or let me back up and say I didn't like was, you know, 3DR comes with this um, remove before flight uh, guardian of the gimbal thing. Yeah, no, not a fan of this. That didn't work out. Here, let me try that again. Yeah, there you go. That goes in the trash. Uh, what you guys need to get is this 3D printed uh, protector. It's a gimbal lock lens cover. It comes in different colors. I um, think I bought it for like $10. It's called a gimbal lock. Totally cool. Uh, I've got the lens cover um, on there now, but um, if you can tell, let me flip this thing on its side here. Uh, but, you know, obviously with two hands, you could do it a lot easier. But you slap that thing right in there, and then, um, boom, you can um, protect your gimbal when you're storing it. Um, I think that was a, a good purchase uh, there. Uh, another thing, a uh, modification that uh, I recommend you guys to think about is you can see the clearance that I have. Originally, you know, your, your clearance would be probably somewhere in this range, right? Tall grass, sand, not a whole lot of clearance. These leg extenders work really good. Um, obviously, you fold them when you're wanting to store it. But, um, you know, you extend them and gives you a, just that clearance that you need uh, when you're out flying around in sand and dirt and grass, just keeps uh, keeps you going uh, a lot easier. Now, man, I, I love them. I think they were uh, they weren't very expensive. Uh, I believe the leg extenders were probably around nine dollars uh, a piece, folding legs. Um, so you have the precision knobs, the leg extenders, the gimbal lock. Uh, obviously, this. Uh, this copter does have the GPS upgrade, which um, was a must. Uh, but one of the other things uh, that I upgraded on this thing was the antennas. You know, these stock antennas, they work okay. But if you want to double, triple, in my case, quadruple the range and the uh, ability to acquire satellites faster, I mean, I wasn't complaining, it took a, I think it was taking a long time uh, to acquire the satellites, but I was able to get 12, 13, 14 uh, after four or five minutes, uh, which I thought uh, wasn't crazy, but uh, adding these alpha antennas, um, man, wow, I've been in a situation where I've, I've had 25 um, satellites uh, in a matter of less than one minute so definitely worth the $15 uh, that they cost um, 
definitely would recommend. I mean, no, uh, no problem there. Definitely recommend the uh, Alpha antennas. Um, other than that, um, love this thing, and um, we'll be doing a few more videos. Maybe we go uh, take this thing out uh, in a couple days and fly it. Thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you guys soon.